Hey guys, it is the next day. The next day. Time, space, time, continuum thing that happens. It's the next day and I have um, just finished kind of combining the leftover dye stock from my first batch of the colorway for the Sock Club set and I added a little bit of gray and black to tone that bright pink color down because I'm looking for... <laughs> hot and muggy out here. Um, I'm really happy to be done for today. Uh, tomorrow I have one more batch of this that I'm going to be dyeing. This, it's interesting to know, um, but I started work out here at around 10.30. No. 10.30. Yeah, a little bit before 11 because I'm, I'm gauging this from when Ronan was napping. So a little bit before 11 and it is um, almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So, and I've only worked on this one color. So um, whenever you are dreaming up colorways, it always takes longer. The second time around is like ha half as long. Um, but whenever you're coming up with new colorways, there's always that incubation time you know, in between each of the different steps to think about what you're gonna do next. Causes it to take a long time, all the different little steps. But it is done, this batch is done. And I'm happy because I'm gonna go inside and cool off, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff washed. And I can't wait to see it in the uh, soap bucket. Um, when all the strands of yarn spread out and you can kind of see how the color is playing on the yarn, it's going to be really beautiful. take my hat off and my apron off. I'm getting so warm except my hair. This is like embarrassing. I probably should just put my hat back on. But this is one of my favorite times because I'm going to take the yarn out of the soap bucket and get it into the um, spin cycle and that's a lot of fun because um, you kind of get to see what that yarn's going to look like dry and I'm excited. So let's go ahead and do that.
right now I am finishing up the kind of like the combination Frankenstein dye stock batch that I'm going to be using for the uh, mini fibers to go into the sock sets. So right now this is what I have so far. I'm going to kind of turn so the light hits it. There you can kind of see it's like a really deep kind of plum color happening there. It's really, really pretty. Um, I really, I really love it. So what I did was I took that leftover dye stock from my dye baths that was that bright pink. There wasn't a lot of pink left, but there was enough that it was just too pink. So here's the colorway you just saw. Um, it's beautiful. It's kind of washing it out right now just because it's a little bright, but here's the colorway gorgeous love this so much but it does have a lot of pink so I don't want the corresponding mini fiber to be overly pink so I added a little bit of gray and a little bit of black to tone this down um, because I wanted it to not be pink I didn't want it to be recognizable as pink at all so I was hoping for something more like a deep purple or like this plum so it works out so I have that and in just a moment when I finish up with the batch that I'm working on right now I'm gonna go ahead and get started dyeing up my mini skeins So I'm back out in my dyeing studio and all the dyeing for the Color Fest Sock Set Club is done. I'm really happy to be done because I'm so excited with the results. So I'm gonna show you guys um, what the skeins look like for the mini skeins that are gonna go with the main colorway and then I'll show you what the package looks like or what the sock set looks like all together. So the uh, dye sock that I used for the minis was kind of a combination of some leftover dye sock from the main colorway and then I toned it down a little bit with just a little bit of black dye to kind of bring it to a really pretty plum gray color and I'm really stoked with how it came out. So I'm gonna show you the picture again, the photograph that I'm using for inspiration, and then I'm gonna show you the mini color, and then I'll show you both together. Okay, so here is the photograph that I used, and remember the celebration that we're doing here is Holly. It's an Indian color festival, um, and so this, was, this is a picture from that celebration. You can see lots of pink, and then there's kind of like a gray cast to the bottom portion here. Really lovely. So here is the plum gray color that we created for the mini. And oh my heavens, you guys. And I purposely made it a tonal. Um, I used the same technique that I used to dye the, the main colorway by hanging the skeins of yarn over um, a piece of wood over the pot so that the middle portion of the yarn would go into the dye later, creating a lighter section. So that when I um, when you skein it up and then when you cake it up, it's gonna have kind of a tonal look to it, but oh, it is so gorgeous. I love it so much. So this, I'm just calling this plum. Um, it's not a, an official colorway for the shop, but I just, I like to name all the colorways that go out regardless. So here it is, and then paired up with the colorway, let me grab one that I've already. Okay, so the, it's pretty bright, so it might be washing it out just a little bit. I'm gonna try and, there it is. Better yet, I'm actually gonna show you, um, this is a good way to show you. I have some mini skeins of the main color because in order to balance out my pans, um, I needed additional yarn in one of the pans. And so instead of doing a full skein, I decided to make little mini skeins of that colorway to kind of balance out my, my uh, dyeing load or my lot, I guess you could say. So here are the two colorways next to each other in the same you know size of skein. You can kind of see how they pair. And it's focusing on my face, let's see, okay. Give it a minute. There it is. Look at that. How cool are those two colors together? And then again, here's the photograph. So photograph here, colors here. Photograph here, colors here. Like what? Darn it. It looks so good. Oh, love it. 
Okay, so that is the way the colors look together. Here are a couple of sock sets. You can kind of see them bundled up here. It's really bright, so it's washing out the color just a little bit, but you can kind of see what we're working with. Absolutely gorgeous. I love them so much. I feel like they really reflect the photograph that I use for inspiration. So happy, so, so happy. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this little journey for coming up with my Holly inspired colorway for the first ever Fiber for the People sock set uh, club. I'm definitely going to be doing this again next month and every month of the sock set club. So keep an eye out for that. The next celebration is yet to be determined. I have all six celebrations that I'm gonna be using for inspiration already, but I haven't really determined which ones are coming when. I'm trying to kind of match them up with the seasons, I guess you could say, but it's gonna be beautiful regardless. So I will see you guys next time when I do a little vlog on my experience coming up with a color for the Color Fest Sock Set Club by Fiber for the People. Thank you guys, bye.